Hello, my friends. This is your personal trainer, Jay. Today, I want to briefly tell you what are three tips to lose fat. Okay. First thing is stay hydrated. Make sure you drink plenty of fluids that do not have sugar or caffeine, or minimal amounts of sugar, but caffeine is to be avoided, and especially green tea. Green tea and research has been proven to help speed up the metabolism and help boost <clears throat> the fat burning thermogenic effect within the body. So that's one tip. Second tip for today is look into inter interval cardio training. So while you will see a lot of people at the gym do cardio, but they'll do 20, 30, 45 minutes of some particular machine just at the same pace continuously, what actually has proven to be very effective in my opinion and my client's personal, personal experiences and also is documented in research is interval training. So you can do even a less, you can do less time of cardio and get better results. And the way that that works is maybe start off with 20 or 30 minutes if you haven't been doing cardio regularly. Choose an activity. I personally love incline walking. It's kind of like hiking, but it's very low impact still on the knees and other joints. But what you do is you get the incline set on your treadmill Maybe start with about 7.0, start with a speeder about, of about 2.8 or 3.0. For most people, that lets you get a brisk walk, but you don't want to be jogging. And you want to do warm up for two minutes. And then here's the trick. I see very few people doing this, but it works fantastically if you do it regularly. Trust me. Do 30 minutes walking as fast as you can. So speed up that... Uh, that tread so that it maybe gets up to about 3.2, 3.3. Again, you don't want to run, but you want to walk briskly. 60 seconds walking as fast as you can. Follow the clock on there. When the one minute is up, decrease the speed to 60 seconds walking as slowly as you can. And keep repeating that. 60 seconds as fast as you can. 60 seconds as slowly as you can. It sounds like you're not going to get the same effect as just maintaining an even level and building up a sweat. But actually, when you try it, Trust me, you're gonna feel in five or seven minutes the impact of this. It will get you out of breath and sweating more quickly than anything else. And if you wanna take it up a notch, you can try the same interval training on something like the Stairmaster, which is gonna be more difficult. Or if you're having a problem with a difficult time on the treadmill, you can do the bike or recumbent bike. So that's the second tip. The third tip I wanna talk about is eat more fat. Um, you don't lose weight by starving yourself, that's a guarantee. You don't lose weight by skipping meals and trying to reduce the amount of food that you eat. You do lose weight by eating the same number of meals but making better food choices. And in those food choices, you need to include some fats, but particularly from you know, the good fats, peanuts, polyunsaturated fats, you wanna avoid saturated fats, obviously, you wanna avoid sugar as much as possible. But other good fats are things that you would get from coconut, avocado, olive oil, fish, nuts, seeds, things of that nature. They will provide your body with good fats. They also tend to help with cravings, um, interestingly enough. And so you can snack on these products as well. So eat more fats. Don't eat less. Eat as much as you were eating, but better food choices, right? No skipping meals, no starving. If you were eating four meals a day, you're trying to lose weight, you still eat four meals a day. Or if you were eating five meals a day, you still eat five meals a day, or three or whatever is the appropriate number for you. So <clears throat> with that being said, those are the three tips for today, how to lose fat. If you have any questions, give me a call. Number's here on the page, or send me a message. I am now seeing personal training clients again here in the North Dallas Allen area. However, I'm at a different gym now, so if you contact me, I'll be happy to give you rates and fees and scheduling information and all the details on how it can work and how it can benefit you. Thank you for listening and take care.